Hey YouTube, it's Pamela. I have five new spiral bound journals I've made and I am really intent on perfecting techniques and I sort of have some some little bit way out ideas uh, just toying with all kinds of ideas uh, with these journals uh, having a great time uh, I got five here and the main thing is that I start with um, a hanging folder this I use as my canvas for my covers <laughs> and it's a little crazy and as I've mentioned uh, with all of my other uh, videos uh, I make my cover art um, with my journals using a recipe, a gesso recipe, of uh, joint compound, Elmer's glue, and latex wall paint. And I know that everybody's going to wag their fingers at me and tell me, don't do that. <laughs> I you know I save a lot of money doing that because there's enormous amounts of paint that is used I mean not enormous but a fair amount of paint and um, anyway it, it it works real well and of course I use latex paint uh, and correction um, acrylics uh, you know a full-fledged uh, art acrylics um, to get you know the the design and uh, so um, this one I kind of like. Uh, it's a tech. Other techniques I have uh, have been toying with is that it seems that when I first do my paintings, they get muddy. Um, the colors I use are too brash, too too loud, uh, and, and and the the painting just simply looks ugly. <laughs> And so it seems like that's the initial stage, is just throwing paint out there and doing stuff and seeing what happens. And a lot of times I don't like what I see. So, so I, I let everything dry overnight, and then the next day I go at it with um, just w white gesso with a lot of water, the same recipe I'm talking about, with just a... A, 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 a past, very teeny tiny bit of pastel and then um, a lot of water and and basically I just just cover up the whole painting and then I go back with just some design like this and it's actually quite tasteful <laughs> when, it, when it's done okay so I just want to uh, pan over to my cinch uh, bindery system and um, of course uh, I there are the spiral by the spirals that you can buy you can buy them Adorama has uh, good prices you can get them on uh, eBay um, you can get a whole batch of them and get just what you want I just got some purple ones didn't use them yet but on these so well, let's get to the inside. Um, this one in particular, and also this one here, are noteworthy. Um, a lot of, as I've shown in I think another one of my previous videos, is I use the um, security paper, security envelope paper. And this is basically kind of a smash, uh, correction, uh, what would you call this? Um, this is a, basically a junk journal, um, all my own style of junk journal, basically taking a, a lot of different papers, uh, papers that I basically, most of them I found in the recycle bin. Just found these papers, these were otherwise going to be thrown away, and, uh, you know, I just cut up these papers and I found kind of interesting things, a lot of the security paper, and then uh, a, 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 just some paper that was going to be thrown away. Um, this was an old bag, and I got some, uh, even some window envelopes. I just threw in uh, just a... <laughs> uh, little 
little acrylic painting, tiny uh, corner. And I get just a lot of security paper, uh, craft paper, construction paper. So anyway, I don't want to spend too much time on any one of these. So just a lot of that going on. Um, this one, let's see, is this the one? Or maybe not. Yes, this is the one where I threw in <laughs> I just uh, a picture from a magazine. I thought this was a hilarious photo photograph. Um, I, I, it looks as if it was taken maybe in the 50s or something, 1950s. That's I, I, I don't know, maybe much longer ago, uh, given I, the dress, but who knows. So uh, let's move on. Um, this one, let's look at, at this painting. Again, um, well this one I don't think I used that technique I mentioned, but uh, basically I throw down a pastel color, let it dry, and, and then I use stamping. I use a stamping technique. I, this was a, uh, a cosmetic sponge <laughs> that I used and just used stamping. I love the stamping uh, effect, how it tends to look. And also, what's interesting about this technique, I, I find, and we can look at some of these others as well, is that um, there's, a, there's a certain amount of, you know, holding a moment in time, something that was wet, obviously wet, like if you're looking at the surface of some distant planet and you wanted to know if there was liquid. <laughs> You know, there's certain things you can look at here, and you know that at one time it was liquid. You know, you can tell. So, you, you're preserving that moment in time when it was liquid, and now it is dry. Okay, so, um, um, then just the spiral binding. And then, uh, of course, I, I guess so the inside, so it's nice and pretty. Um, and th in this particular case, um, the inside is uh, kind of a design. Um, these were two bags I cut up. Got a bunch of these bags at the dollar store because this stock is just out of this world. It just You can fold it up a million times. So um, inside, same deal. Um, in this case, I really did hate the, the, the painting underneath, and I guess sewed over it. And then um, I think that I kind of like what I did here. This is kind of tasteful. So um, this is an old bag. And um, I, these are five by, that's basically five by five. And this is the We Are Memory Keepers cinch binding method. Um, now over here, uh, like as you see here with the security paper and recycled paper, the whole theme is to, um, oops, okay, I just turned on the light there. <laughs> uh, I don't want to turn it off. There we go. Um, so this here is uh, the cardboard you get from the inside of uh, the, the, the cores of uh, toilet paper. <laughs> so I kind of like the stamps that are on the inside and uh, it's a nice little size. This is my food diary. I've covered up my entries. Um, so every day I can write down my, my food entries, keep myself in, in line that way so I don't overeat and stuff. Um, and um, here's a little Brad, and I could do more things like embellishments like that. Um, this one, again, uh, I want to wrap this up pretty good. Lots and lots of, of recycled. Uh, this, is, this is more than the other one. There's a lot of security paper in this one. And let's take a look at this. I kind of like this uh, painting. Um, I consider these to be uh, uh, journals covered in paintings. <laughs> so, um, and this one um, I think is going to be a little gift for uh, a ch uh, the, the daughter of a friend of mine. 
and uh, again, it's the cores of uh, toilet paper and also actually. Uh, and then I threw in every once in a while some paintings, uh, like tiny cutouts of the paintings from the uh, uh, from. Uh, um, from the hanging file folder paintings that I do, uh, that I'm using for the covers. So that's about it. Uh, over and out. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, thumbs up. And thank you for watching.